Dude, what's up? Just wanted to do another book review. Uh, this one's kind of been sitting on my floor for a while. I kind of have like a stack of books. I don't really have like a bookshelf to put everything. And I just haven't reviewed it. I read this like maybe a month or two ago. It's called Discovering the Wealth Within You by Rick, Rick Edelman. Edelman? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, either way, you know, get the point. But this book talks about like setting goals and going towards them. And it's, uh, it was a good read, but it wasn't, like, something I was really excited about. I think that's kind of why I sat on my floor for a while. And, like, it, it's a great book. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I think there's better ones out there. Uh, so this talks about, you know, setting goals and keeping them in the back of your head or keeping them in the front of your head, whatever you want to think about it, you know, being conscious of it, I guess, and working towards them, saving up for the things you want to do and investing one of the biggest takeaways of this is like you want to diversify your investments because if you put all, everything in one basket uh, and it crashes, you'll be like totally screwed. <laughs> so you want to diversify and then recommend like mutual funds, stuff like that, rather than, you know, just investing the stocks. And uh, I'll talk more about that actually in a, in a different book review I'm about to do um, on the smartest investment book you'll ever read uh, but yeah um, this book it was okay it, looked, it was kind of annoying how many footnotes he put in there so what I mean by that was let me turn the pages real quick yeah if you can see like there's all these little all these little like footnotes at the bottom of the pages um, I don't know if you can see yeah you can see those very well, but that that is footnote number 232. It's just too many. It's kind of clutters up the book and makes it a little bit hard to follow if you actually follow the footnotes. So, but other than that, like it was a pretty decent investing book uh, slash you know self help book. It does talk about you know setting you know um, envisioning where you want to be. So that you can go towards your goals. Um, it's not just all about finance, but the the, uh, the the second part of the book is definitely all geared towards like personal finance and investing. So this was a cool book. Um, nothing to, that I really got excited about, honestly. I I don't like saying that most of the time because like these people work really hard in these books. It's just the person writing this, you know, but. I think there's I think there's better books out there you could be reading. So Discovering the Wealth Discovering the Wealth Within You by Rick Edelman. Pretty good. Um, you know, if you read a ton of books, you know, check it out. But if you only read like a few books every now and then, I would probably just skip over this one. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you if you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. As always, I'll try my best to get back to you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'm out.